That's weird to see two lands exiled underneath the temporary lockdown. Um, hey guys, so today we're playing a little bit of Bant Mana. So this is a bit of a weird one uh, that I've created. I wanted to try and build a deck using Vanifair Evolved Enigma. So uh, this is a 4 mana 3-4 from Karlov Banner. Um, at the beginning of combat on your turn, you can choose one, either cloak a card from your hand, so put it face down as a 2-2 two, two with Ward 2, that can then be flipped up later on, or put a plus one plus one counter on each colorless creature you control. So I wanted to make a deck that could take advantage of that plus one plus one counter ability the best that I could. So this is like a Bant colorless deck, if that makes sense. So I'll go over some of the cards very quickly because there's some, some weird stuff in here and I'll explain what we're trying to do. So obviously the main goal is to make a bunch of colorless creatures and pump them up. So I'll start from the very beginning here. Get Lost is just for some removal, obviously. Teaching of the of the Curran, uh, two mana, gives us a 1-1 one, one colorless creature, put a plus one counter onto our creature I control, and then it flips over and becomes a creature that can also attack and make more colorless creatures. So something to do in the early game and also works with our colorless creature game plan. Touch the Spirit Realm, realm another enchant, uh, sorry, removal spell, but also because the, the blink ability, you can discard it and blink a creature and it comes back into play. That works with face down cards. If I have a face down creature that is powerful, I can blink it and it'll turn face up for just two mana. So it's removal and also kind of a combat trick as well. Cryptic Coat makes colorless creatures, obviously, um, just a good quality card as you've seen in the past already this guy mal malcator purity overseer three mana one one makes a three three colorless artifact creature so obviously works with our deck being our ends of our end step if we, three or more artifacts entered the battlefield under our control we make another three three artifact creature and uh, that can actually happen in this deck liberator urza's battle thopter uh flash flying one two for three mana all my colorless spells and artifacts have flash whenever i cast a spell if the amount of mana spent to cast it is greater than liberator power i can put a plus one counter on it so uh, and we do have a bunch of that as well Thran spider again a colorless creature that gets pumped by the van affair also gives us a power stone which can be used to ramp into our bigger artifact creatures then we have hide in plain sight four mana live the top five cards in my library cloak two of them and put the rest at the bottom of my library so again makes two colorless creatures that can potentially be flipped up as well uh, and then I'm playing Platoon Dispenser. This one is obviously a colorless creature that can uh, I can mana sink into it and make more colorless creatures, which is nice. It also has this card draw ability. If I have two or more other creatures at my end step, I can draw a card. And then uh, it's also a very good target for, like, if I flip it up, you know, Cryptic Coat, it's just a good target for that. And then at the top end, we have Threefold Thunder Hulk. Seven mana, zero, zero, but it comes with three counters on it, so it's a three, three. And then it gets three one ones, one for each power it has. I can sacrifice another artifact to put a counter on him, and whenever he attacks, he makes equal to his power more artifacts. So, just like Vanifair and this alone, if I can get them going together, like, I get four bodies off the hop that all get pumped by this, and then it just spirals out of control from there. So, anyways, a bit of a weird deck idea, but let's take a look and see if we can win any games with it. Okay, Ichu Ichuium versus our Bant colorless deck. We are on the draw. I mean, I assume they get to choose. I, I would assume that they would be, yeah. Um, four lands and three removal spells. Mulligan. Uh, that's better. Um, let's. I would love to keep this, but I think that we're too far from playing it. So let's just put it back for now and keep what we can actually play. <clears throat> uh oh. It's the Traxa. Uh, let's go Manland. Yep, Angel. Um, all right, let's let's put down our um, teachings here. Get on the board. So Angel, Dinosaur. There's Stomper. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, so we will go land, and unfortunately. That's the extent of the turn this time. Too many top lands. Angel of Wrath, yep. Um, okay, so we get our guy. Another top land, and we'll play a spider down. Another Stomper. 
So we can block the Angel here, which is kind of nice, I guess. They're going to gain the life still, but at least we... Um, no attacks. Okay. Um, so I think I'm going to... Problem is, they're going to play the one mana exile my target permanent. So this is just going to die right away. Let's play another spider. And then they can't t attack at all with this. It'll double block. Another angel. So kill a spider this time. All right. Um, so let's go here. Get a thing. And then here. And that gives us three artifacts. Which triggers that and gives us another artifact. So they virtue him. No attacks. Okay, uh, let's go like this. And one, two, three, four, five, eight. I can play this. I kind of want to play this out, but I just don't know what removal is going to be there. Let's try it. Let's go for it. Go to combat. Nice. Put counters on our guys. No attacks. I could have attacked with the four fours there, but that's okay. Two, four, six, seven. Yeah, there's the Atraxa. Yep. Kind of getting sick of the old Atraxa, I'm not going to lie. So we would like to draw a removal spell here. Yeah, that's a lot of stuff to get. Sunfall, just in case things get out of hand. Um, all right, let's go. Let's go platoon dispenser, mainly because I want to be able to draw cards. Uh, put counters on my board. Can't really attack here yet, but we get to draw an extra card. They can just sunfall here and get a huge guy. Yeah, they're gonna obviously do that. So let's just block whatever we can. And then just let the Atraxa through. Or do I double block the Atraxa and take one less damage? Well, doing it this way, they get a less big... Uh, they get a less big Sunfall guy. Yep. Alright. So land, uh, let's go make two guys. Uh, this and let's just do a land, I guess. And I can flip that up anytime. So we will wait on that. They get an 8-8. Eight, eight. Yeah. Okay. So let's sideboard in some Lorans and some No More Lies. And let's sideboard out. Um, let's sideboard out a couple of these. One of these. I don't know if these are, these are too slow probably. I guess one of these, because we're bringing in a bunch of things like answers to things. So I don't want to have, I still want to be aggressive if I can. I can't just have all, you know, removal and answers. All right, Itchy Yum. Game two, we'll play first. We will keep this. Uh, tap land. I will keep a No More Lies. That's probably gonna be important. <clears throat> okay, so land, let's get this going.
right, another one of those. Counter on that. Uh, let's go tap land. So the question is, is the counter spell important for next turn or not as important as getting... I think we save the counter spell for later and try to get more stuff on board here. <clears throat> Unless they play like a temporary lockdown here and then... Okay, nice. Um, so counter here, flip our guy. So land. So I want to play this and pump the board, but are they playing any four mana board wipes? Like, do they board that in? Or is it just Sunfall they're relying on? Let's try it. We're going to play the risky play here. We're going for the, the big payoff here. Because if, if they don't wipe the board here and they're waiting for the Sunfall, then we can probably, probably kill them. Just play the angel. Okay. Um, so we can play the spider and still have the counter mana available. So let's do that. Let's plus one counter on the board. So this exile target non-creature card from a graveyard. Put a counter on target creature. So I'm going to do that because I can pump up the Vanifair. Non-creature from a graveyard. We'll do Brushlands and put a counter on this. So we can't, he can't block that now. We well, can, but... Oh, he does. Okay. All right. So now we're hoping he's relying on this Sunfall to save him here. And then we're going to no more lies it. Nice. Okay. We beat Atraxa a game. That's uh, it's all that matters. Uh, let's just keep it as is. No blue mana. Let's mulligan. We will keep this. And let's put that back for now. So we need to draw lots of land here. Opponent did not mulligan, unfortunately. Um, all right, let's surveil away the things we don't want. All tap lands, so we're off. To, it's going to be a slow start. Yep, being on the play was very, obviously very important here. You fall, you fall behind so quickly. Um, so this is an untapped land, but it doesn't it doesn't give us white mana, so we can't play that anyways. So we're better off to just play this, I think, and then. Hope for the best. <clears throat> okay, uh, let's go like this. Let's put the let's put the cryptic coat down. The ward two might be. Uh, I mean, they can still exile it, right? They have just pay the ward. Herd migration. Stomper, yep. All right, let's go tap land. Let's play this out. And attack. Next turn, if we can Vanifair and pump our guys. There's an angel. Yeah, kill that. Um, okay. Let's let's Vanifair here and pump the team. And then we can attack with both. So obviously a sunfall is coming. So we really need a counterspell here. Because like we can get a big board. We just need the counterspell against but they're obviously planning to Sunfall or something big like that. So if we can draw a Counterspell, we may have a chance here. But without the Counterspell, it... Oh, wow. So that kills... Okay. Um, so let's make our guys here. Oh, no. Well, there's the two Counterspells we need. 
That's too bad. Uh, let's pump the team. Attack. It doesn't look good. Two, four, six. So once they play another land, they just probably attracts us. Another temporary lockdown. Okay. So if we kill that, we get two lands. Do I want two lands right now? Maybe. That's weird to see two lands exiled underneath the temporary lockdown. Um, let's go teaching. And let's go spider. And let's pump the team. There's their seventh land. Do they just have a sunfall here? Yeah. Yep. Too bad. Um, let's just play this. All right, we'll hold off. Um, cloak a card from my hand. Do I want to cloak this get lost from my hand? Like right now, the get lost can kill either of their two enchantments. But I get land from it, which I don't necessarily need. And they get back their beanstalk, which is not good either. I'm just going to cloak this. So they are playing Depopulate. Um, sure, I draw a card, which is nice. Of course, it's at land, but it's still something. Okay, transform, yes. Let's put the Cryptic Coat back in my hand. Take four. More land. So we get our guy. Let's play the land. Let's play the coat. We can't quite activate that. Let's uh, let's just do this again. I don't know why I wouldn't do that at instant speed, but that's okay. So there's a Vanifair underneath, which is nice. Yep, another board wipe. <sighs> Is it another Sunfall? I mean, we're probably not winning anyways. I think I'd rather risk it and see if I can get a big attack in. Atraxa. Yeah. So we need to not, not draw land here. We need a good draw. So we get a land and a dinosaur and that's it. Okay, that's a good draw. So let's kill that. Uh, let's play this. Can I do this? Yes. Um, I could have flipped this up, which may have been better, but let's go like that. Let's exile a creature card from my graveyard and make a 1-1. One, one. Take away the Atraxa. Turn that into a 3-3. Three, three. Okay, down to five. Do they have another board wipe? I'm hoping their plan is just to play the dinosaur and then they get nothing good off of it. That's what I'm hoping for. Please. Okay, virtue. Okay, there's the dinosaur. Ugh, sunfall. He didn't play it. Okay, he didn't play it. God. Okay. So I'm trying to think of what. I could even do here. Dispenser. They're going to sunfall anyways, right? So it's. Let's turn this up. 
I can get him for four. It's unblockable, right? And then this. Or no, that'll one, two, three, four, five. No, shoot, that's that's not what I want to do. Um So let's pump the team. Let's get in for four unblockable. If I had one more land there, I would have won, right? I could have activated the land and attacked and turned this into a 3-3, and then he couldn't have blocked it all. But we did not have that. Um, and then I think I just wait. And when he sunfalls, I bring the cryptic coat back. Maybe. Virtue's my token. Yeah. Back up to five. Another Carnosaur. Stomper. So this is still four unblockable, right? So I almost wonder if I don't put it back in my hand. question is how do I get the last point of damage in though I don't have anything to pump it with right I wish I had the blue white man land I have it in my deck but so do I cryptic code here or do I not I feel like I, I can't right another dispenser if only this pumped itself uh, let's cloak a card from my hand let's attack for four put them to one And then I guess I'll just play this. I get to draw a card. Spider. So he sends it all. Let's make a 1-1. One, one. So we'll block there. Block here. 7 and 7 is 14, so I can block here. And I would take 7, 11, right? That's 11? Sure. Take 11, go to 1. And then they have to sunfall, don't they? Raxa. They have one, two, three mana available. Was that the best play for them? Because what do they do now? Like they can, I have the unblockable, right? I guess they can just kill it now. They can exile it, right? Because if they gain the three life, you still kill them. So they have to kill this, which they can do, right? And pay the two. But will they see that, though? So we'll go land. So animate the Vine Stalker. Go to combat, pump the team. So attack all, make that into a 3 3. So binding. Take that. <laughs> okay, um, that might be my proudest victory. Okay, Saboneko, Sa Saboneko against our Bant colorless deck. Uh, we will keep this 
and we will play our top lane. Uh, let's go thicket into our teaching. Bat. Probably taking the Thran Spider because it can block the bat. Okay, uh, let's go counter there and then I guess we'll just play a tap land and attack. Yep. Exiles and enchantment I control. Wow. Uh, okay, so I could flash this in to block the bat, which seems very good, but I think I'll do this first. <coughs> so we'll do that face down, and we'll do a land. Let's attack. So next turn we can flip this up and start pumping the team. Yep. Are they going to board wipe me? Okay, uh, let's go... Let's go tap land. Let's flip up. May regret that because now it has no ward and they're going to kill it. But if they don't... Yeah. Yeah, I had to do it before combat to get the abilities off, so... Kind of lame, but that's okay. We're winning the race currently. That's all that matters. Okay, there's another one. So, two, four, six. So I can play this out and it'll probably just die again. I think I'd rather play the coat and then be able to flash in the Liberator to block the bat. And then next turn I can play the Vanifair. What do we get? What do we get? Okay. Yeah, let's do that. So let's go to combat. Attack. And then we'll wait for them to attack with the bat again. Scoundrel. If they put a wicked roll on this thing, then that ruins our whole game plan. Will they expect the 1-2 the flash flying creature? Are they going to discard a Carnosaur to kill it? Another Bitter Triumph. Yep. Um, That's okay, because we have a pretty hefty turn here. Let's pump the team and attack. So opponent blocks, and then we still have our, uh... so we can flash this back to our hand if we want, but I feel like this is lethal now, because this is uh, going to be a five unblockable. Oh, I guess they gain a life, but I mean, probably still going to kill them. Burn down the house, never mind. So we'll flash this back. We do get our uh, three and spider back, which is good. So, Dispenser. Uh, so, let's go Crypticote. Let's go Spider. We got a Platoon Dispenser off of the Crypticote as well. So, we can flip that up. That'll be five unblockable there. Cruelty. Bringing back... Oh, is this just like a combo thing? Am I going to lose to a combo? Sure. All right. Let's go to combat. So if I flip this, it'll hit for five. One, two, three, four, five. And then I can't play anything else. So I think we just hit for three here. And then I'll probably just hard cast this so I can draw a card. Or no, it's two other creatures. Never mind. Uh, and then I can still flash this back to my hand as well. Okay. 
Edict. Sacrifice a non-token creature. I'm pretty sure I just do this and win the game, right? That also goes to the graveyard so I can bring it back, unearth it. Alright. Got him there. Um, because they're playing like a weird combo -y deck, I think I'll bring in the No More Lies. Um, and reduce maybe these down, this down, and this down. Okay, Sabineko. We are on the draw. Uh, we have our colors. We're on the draw, so we'll, we'll keep it. Need to draw land, of course. So we'll go tap land. Next turn we can do teachings. Nice, that's good. Um, we'll hold the uh, counter spell for when they try to do their weird little combo dragon thing. Uh huh. Exiles an enchantment. Yep. Uh, let's go like this and this. And we will attack. Okay, opponent's not doing too much. Um, let's surveil. I will keep a land. And we'll go to combat. Artifact or creature, so I can blink their land, or just kill it. I just, I just, yeah, let's kill it. I just really wanted to keep the counter spell mana open, but I mean, I think killing a land is probably more important here. It sets them back a whole turn. All right, let's hold off for a minute. We can still blink. We can still blink something if we, uh, if something good comes down. Yeah, we like time walk them there with that. Uh, um, so we're one mana away from playing this thing. So let's just go to combat and pass. I have the counter ready. So we can also, yeah, let's counter that. And then we can actually blink the Thran Spider to get us the next mana we need to play this. And I think I will, in fact, do that. Play that. So the question will now be, did they bring in, like, more board wipes? Because we could get wrecked by a... Uh, bring down the house, whatever it's called right now. Or, uh... Brotherhoods, whatever. Okay, so what does he get with this? Make me s sacrifice a creature? Okay. Okay. Yeah, make him bigger. Ooh, Vein Ripper. Nice. a gross name by the way vein ripper it grosses me out so no man lands unfortunately uh okay let's just kill this uh, we can't kill them this turn, so I think I will sacrifice one. So we submit that. Or can we actually? Does this kill them? Submit that. And then attack? Maybe I was wrong. Exactly lethal. Okay. Okay. Fenrir. With our Bant. Colorless mid-rangey token kind of deck so five lands and two removal spells 
Um, let's mulligan. I don't want to do nothing. That's better. Uh, let's put back probably one of our tap lands. They got a cool dragon. I got a nasty frog. Um, so let's let's uh, surveil here. Um, let's put it away. This is Traxa again. Yeah. All right, let's get the teachings going. Get our one one. That's a nice land. What is this? Search your library for a basic land. Put it back held tapped. Make a one one sapperling. Our creature you control against domain. Okay, interesting. Interesting. Um, let's go land. Let's go cryptic coat. Getting a thing hide in plain sight. Okay. We get our saga. Um, let's go land. Let's go combat. Attack all. If they double block this, I can blink one of the tokens and save it. No need. Uh, let's go with another... So domain plus X plus X. Let's go with another coat. I don't know if we're going to get board wiped here. I don't know what they're playing necessarily, but if they're playing this like domain pump your creature stuff, I'm somewhat less inclined to think that's the case, but so we're going to take the six here, six trample. Now do they sunfall? Rith, what is going on here? Other dragons you can reward, so other dragons you can reward to at the beginning of your end step. If a creature or planeswalker your opponent control was dealt excess damage turn and make a 4-4 dragon. Okay. Um, so, man land. Exile this. Wait, what am I missing? Oh, it's got ward 2. I just said that. Uh... I didn't mean to do that. Whoopsies. Let's stop him from drawing three cards. Um, I'm still going to attack all. Exile. Let's make a creature. And we'll exile this. My bad, my bad. I, I literally read the Ward 2 on it. Actually, I honestly read other dragons have Ward 2 and forgot that he himself has Ward 2, so my mistake. Um, the unblockables, I'm hoping, are going to take uh, carry us here. More dragons, yeah. Like, can they even attack here? Don't we just win now? I think we might just win here. I just make the restless prairie. It pumps my unblockables and then I attack. I think is the is the play. Okay, game one against uh, five-color dragons, I guess, is the deck. 
So, I don't know what... Do I bring in no more lies? Are they playing the land that stops dragons from getting countered? Probably. I might just leave it as is for now. Like, I can, I can bring the Lorenz, but, like, what is that really killing? Is it going to kill any big... Well, they have the Sagas, right? Maybe I will bring in two of these. And subtract one of those. And subtract one of these. Alright, game two against Fenrir. With our Bant colorless deck. Um, so nothing for three turns, which is kind of rough, but we do have, well, I guess we have this, we can blink something if we need to, but let's keep it. It's slow, but we'll keep it. We also have all tap lands, so it's extra slow. Mulligan to four. So land, let's see what we get. Uh, let's put that away. I think we actually want more lands, honestly. Okay, there's a briefcase. Let's go with another land. There's their saga, they get more land. They're drawing, for a mulligan to four, they're definitely drawing pretty good. So I need an untapped land here really badly so I can lore in this thing. Although, I mean, he already got the value, like, he got the land. Like, the 1-1 one, one in the domain trigger is not that exciting, but... Um, no good. Let's go tap land. I might just hold on to the Touch of Spirit Realms and bounce the creature that they uh, target with the domain. Oh, that's the guy that... That's the guy that makes dragons cost less? Yep. Add two mana for a dragon. We'll take that. Um, pass the turn. Oh my god, these tap lands. They're killing me. Um, let's... Let's just play this and kill the... the thing here. And hope they don't have a giant dragon they can cheat it, they can ramp into here. Up the beanstalk, yep. Uh, I will block one of these. Oh my god, every land coming in to play taps. Um, I think I might kill this now. Because I feel like they're trying to get to a big dragon here. So if I kill that, it really sets them back. And they can't draw a card off the, off the beanstalk. So briefcase. Yep. Dispenser's pretty good here. Um, I can play the Cryptic Coat and leave the Blink Mana open if I need it. Let's do that. What do we get off this? Get lost. I was hoping for a bigger creature that I could blink and flip up, but that's okay. If there's no blink target for this, I can put this back to my hand as well. Okay, this has ward two, so they can't actually... Oh no, they can sack the briefcase if they want to kill this. Which I'm fine with. If they want to sacrifice their land, their mana source, that's fine with me. So 
I think I'm actually going to blink one of these tokens. Let's blink that one. Uh, let's go Dispenser. And next turn we can play the Vanifair. If we draw a land, we can go Vanifair and Cryptic Coat. And then start pumping the team. Yep. Are they going to reveal? <laughs> yeah. Well, it gets them their dragon. That's pretty good. Um, okay. So let's play... The Vanifair. And one, two, three, four, five, six. So next turn we can play this and pump the team with the Vanifair. Which should be really good. Uh, so let's... Let's cloak this and get another creature down. We still have one we can play. Um, let's attack. I don't think there's any reason not to here. Draw a card off of the dispenser. <clears throat> another one. Wow. These things are really good when you have a handful of dragons. So does he kill the Vanifair or does he kill the other? Yeah. Pretty good. It's a lot of flying damage coming at us. We gotta be careful. Because they attack with this for four and then next turn that's lethal, right? And these double trigger. Brutal. Opponent gets there on the mulligan to four with these stupid invasions. Uh, yeah, that's just game, right? So we can block with the man lands. Every single let me play today, this game came in tapped. Um, so we can block with the man lands and survive. If I play this, I just die, right? So I think we go to combat. So they block there. And then when these, so when he attacks, it deals two to any target. So I have to block both of them because they, if one gets through, then, so these are three, one, two, three. So I don't have enough, do I? I just die. Does doing this do anything right now? Well, it's Cryptic Coat. A land. Let's see what we draw from the... Too bad. Alright, they got us with the multiple invasions. Alright, let's try again here. Um... So maybe I do play the... I think I'm going to play the counter spells and they're going to just play the land and then resolve a bunch of dragons and I'll feel silly. Um, let's bring in two steel seraphs just for fun. Let's go minus one here. Let's, let's try that. They have flying. They gain us life. So we'll play first. We'll keep that. Let's surveil. Let's put that away. It's, this deck's playing probably way too many tap lands. I've realized. <clears throat> so they have a tap land. Let's go like that. So briefcase. We're going to lure in that probably. So we'll go land. Or do I cryptic coat? No, let's let's kill the briefcase.
Yep. So we probably kill that right away. No blocks. So we get a land. Uh, let's... Yeah, I don't think I want them getting a, a dragon out next turn, so we'll kill that. As much as I would like to have done more there. Yep. Uh-huh. Oh, there's a dragon. All right. So let's block and then draw. Okay. So there's the van up here. So they got dragons coming down next turn. We really needed land. Tempted to just get this out. And just to use our mana the best we can. And then let's uh, cloak a card from our hand. Let's do let's do this because it can flip up. So here comes Zergo, whatever it's called. Oh, there's Rith. Okay. I will double block that. I'm cool with that trade. Oh, right, he gets a dragon from it. Such a fool! Um, land. Let's put this out. Let's put this out. Let's cloak this. No attacks. So we're going to get hurt real bad this next turn. And then we're going to try to swing back for a ton. Oh, God. We deserve that. We deserve that. Uh, if I'm going to lose to a deck that I'm not aware of, I, I'm happy that it's a... Yeah, that's really good. I'm happy that it's a uh, dragon deck. That's pretty cool. So we go like this. These all have ward anyways, so... Okay. Fail. Fail. Okay, so that was our uh, Vanifair Bant colorless deck. And I thought it was pretty good, honestly. Um... I feel like there's definitely some work to be done on the deck. Um, if you know cards that should go in this deck, please let me know. I I went through and searched the best I could to find the best way to build this, but there's probably some really important good cards that could be going in this deck. I think that Vanifair is actually very powerful. If you can get like a decent board going, it just spirals out of control so quickly. Uh, Cryptic Coat, good as always. Um, the Hide and Plain Sights, I got to play a little bit, I think, but not as much as I would have liked. For having four on the deck, I kind of thought I'd be doing that a lot more, but I still think it's a very cool, very cool card. Yeah, the Thunder Hulk ended up being pretty good as well. Yeah, very fun deck. I hope you enjoyed the games, and I will see you in the next video.